Hey what's up guys welcome to another video in which we are going to learn about java hash map class with the help of examples so guys previously we have seen some of the examples of hash map in this video we are going to see more examples of the hash map class so the hash map class of the java collections framework provides the functionality of the hash table data structure so guys it provides the functionality of the hash table data structure that we had seen previously now it stores the elements in the form of key and value pairs so we have one key and associated to every key we have a particular value now the key that we define should not be a duplicate key all the keys must be unique when we put them in the hash map class the keys are unique identifiers used to associate each value on a map now the hash map class implements the interface and in this video we are going to see the example such as creating a hash map and then adding the elements and all these actions one by one so guys let us move to the eclipse id over here let us first create a hash map now so in order to create a hash map we have to use the hash map class so when we type hash map we get the suggestion as the hash map and you can see this k and v parameters inside the angled brackets so key is nothing but the data type of the keys that we want to store so over here let's say we want to store the key as an integer data type so we put the integer data type over here and let's say the values that we want to store is of the string data type and then guys we have hash map object name so let's say i put the object name as h map and then we provide a new operator followed by the name of the class that is hash map we press on enter so as you can see we have just initialized an object of the data type hash map and inside that we are going to have the keys of the integer data type and the values as the string data type now guys in order to add the elements so this is the second action in order to add the elements in a hash map we can use the put function that is being provided by the hash map class so we have to use the object name that is h map that this object name that we have initialized over here followed by dot and then when we provide the put you can see it takes two parameters that is integer key and string value that's because we have provided the keys as the integer data type and value as a string data type so we press enter and then we have to provide the key so let's say i provide one as the key and the string will be the string representation of this number that is one so guys similarly we can put more elements over here so i'll just copy and paste this and as you can see we have duplicate keys over here i have to replace them with some other keys so as you can see over here we don't have any duplicate keys now the values can be duplicate since these are associated with different keys over here but we are going to change the values as well so i will put the string representation of all these numbers so we have three and then we have four over here so guys in this way we can easily add the elements in a hash map now moving to next action that is access elements of hash map so directly we can use this object in order to access all the elements so i'll put a print statement over here so we have print and then followed by we'll put a string over here so i'll put hash map content is and then followed by colon and then let's say we provide hmap as the object name over here before this we have to provide the concatenation operator that is plus inside this println statement let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see hash map content is you have one one two two three three four four so in this way we can easily print the content of the hash map guys another way in order to get a particular value of a key in the hash map is to use the get method so let's say i have another print statement over here and i want to specifically get the value of the key that is represented by this number that is three so what i will do is i will put a string over here so i'll put value of key equal to 3 is followed by colon and then as i said we have to use this object that is h map over here that i am using followed by dot and then we can use the get method so as you can see get method it is taking one parameter that is object key so we press on enter and we have to provide the key that is 3 over here so i'll put 3 as the key and then let me just save this file and try running this code now so as you can see value of key 3 is 3 and in this way we can easily access any of the elements let's say i want to access the value of the key that is represented by this key that is 1 so i'll put 1 over here i'll change a string as value of key it is equal to 1 is hash map dot get 1 let me just save this file and try running this code now so we should get the value of key that is 1 
So key equal to one is one. Now guys, let us move to another action. That is how do we replace the elements in a hash map? So let's say we already have this existing key is equal to one and the value is one now. But now after printing this, we want to change the value to something else. So what I will have to do is I will use this object that is H map followed by dot. And then we have something called as replace method. So I'll type replace. And as you can see, we have multiple replace methods over here. The first two is the replace method and the last one is replace all so we are going to use the first method that is replaced and it is going to take two parameters that is integer key and string value so what i'm going to do is the value of an existing key i want to replace so let's say i want to replace the value of key that is represented by one and then instead of one i will put it as 11. so guys we are just changing the value of an existing key that is 1 by 11 over here and what I will do is I will just copy this line that is printing the key equal to 1 value and then pasting it over here after changing the value of the key that is 1. So let me just save this file and try running this code now. So as you can see hash map content is the content of the hash map and then we have value of key equal to 1 is 1 before we actually replaced the value by 11. So after we replaced it again we are printing the value of the key equal to 1 and over here value of key equal to 1 is 11. That is done after we have used this replace method in order to update the value of a particular key in a hash map. Now guys let us move to another action that is how do we remove the elements from the hash map. So we can easily remove the elements of the hash map by using the remove method so let's say i want to remove this element that is represented by the key equal to 3 so what i will do is i will use the hmap object followed by dot and then we have something called as remove and it takes one parameter that is object key that is the first one it is also having another method that is remove which takes two objects that is it takes the value as well so i'm going to use the first method that is just going to take the key value so i'll provide 3 over here and then after removing this element i'm going to print the content of the hash map so i'll just copy this print statement and paste this over here let me just save this file and try running this code now so over here we should see that three has been removed so over here it was one two three and four and then as you can see hash map content is one is 11 that's because we have replaced the value of one by 11 and then we have two and then directly we have four so three is no longer present now that's because we have removed the element that was represented by the key three with the help of the remove method and guys in this way we can easily perform all the actions that is adding the elements in a hash map then accessing the elements replacing the elements or removing the elements guys apart from this there are many other methods that you can use with the help of the hash map object so when we use hmap that is the object of the hash map followed by dot you will see all the methods that can be used so for example you can see this clear method over here which will just clear all the elements in the existing hash map apart from this you can see over here entry set which is just going to print all the key value pairs of a particular hash map and then we also have key set over here which will just return all the keys that are present in the hash map and we also have the values as well so as we can see this values it also returns Returns all the values of the hash map that is present apart from this there are many other functions or methods that you can use based on the requirements so guys practice on your own so that on different inputs you get different outputs please make sure that you like this video so that it reaches to more people and subscribe to this channel so that you get the notifications on upcoming videos as well the next video that we are going to talk about is java linked hash map class with the help of examples so stay tuned